views, views. I don't want to be Mr. Views. I need banana, tasty banana. Put banana in my mouth. Squeeze the peel, it comes in then. <laughs> Squeeze banana. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for Friday, the 18th of February, 2022. Undoubtedly, what you guys want to hear is my initial and summary thoughts on my first day of gameplay of Elden Ring. So let's talk. Um, uh, Elden Ring. It's definitely like Dark Souls 4, which is what everyone was saying all along. We all knew that the gameplay mechanics were going back to kind of... Wait a minute. That's next week. We're going to talk about Horizon Forbidden West today. <laughs> Five hours in, what do I think of Horizon Forbidden West? It's basically Horizon Zero Dawn plus, 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 plus. They have seemed to improved upon almost everything in the original game. Has there been anything that's been groundbreakingly innovative yet? Besides the improvement of the graphics, no. But I'm only five hours in. We all know this is going to be a very lengthy game. Perhaps there will be a lot of new gameplay elements, new enemy types, and all kinds of new things implemented the further in you get. I don't know. I'm not there yet. But I can tell you, I did have fun <clears throat> today on my initial gameplay. The viewing audience, however... I hate to say it, it, it definitely started to remind me of my playthrough of Horizon Zero Dawn five years ago, okay? You had some people who were engaged and interested. You had some people who were completely disengaged and disinterested, saying it was boring as hell. And they actually were people saying, only a few hours into this game, man, I wish Phil would take Skyrim out of a night stream and make it a daytime stream again, and take Horizon, and from now on, just make it night streams, because we would rather see three-hour chunks of Skyrim than this. That's 100% a lie. Even though I was in the introductory stages of the game, yes, this is how people were acting on stream today. Um, to almost coincide with that attitude, all right, viewership started out great and dwindled over the course of the daytime stream. It started off with over 400 viewers, and by the time we were done, I think we barely had 300, okay? That's not good. I don't understand for a premiere game why we lost that many. Um, people were saying, it's not me, it's the game. It would be one thing if people were like, wow, you're playing it poorly or whatever. It's not the case. They're just saying, eh, the game just isn't very interesting. I remember years ago playing Horizon Zero Dawn, having fun with the game, enjoying myself. I really remember when that game opened up and you could do the optional exploration of missions, how much I liked it. And then the viewing audience said the same thing. This game is just a mishmash of a million other games. That's all it is. That it just wasn't engaging enough. It wasn't fun enough. And maybe it's a game that's more fun to play than watch. But basically, that was the same feedback I got five years ago. Okay? Um, I can tell you this. The night stream had a lot more fun and engagement than the daytime stream. So if you're someone who only watched the early stream and not the later shift of gameplay, when the game opened up and became what the game really is, it's combat, it's open world exploration, sneaking, you know, you know platforming and stuff inside of a dungeon, then it became fun. It became a lot more fun. And... A lot more engagement with the audience. We were having fun conversation again, just like we usually would. I didn't have much of that on the early stream because it was all have to pay attention, introductory stuff, got to pay attention to the tutorial, got to pay attention to the story. <clears throat> it definitely loosened up a lot more on the later stream, okay? Um, overall, five hours in, I had a lot of fun the last two hours today. You know, you, take, you talk about games that have bad pacing, um... I feel like we saw a good idea of what the game is going to be by the end of today's second stream, and I had a good time with it, okay? What I would like to say is anyone who attended today's streams and supported, thank you, support was not as great as you would expect for a big new release game, all right? Uh, we didn't even hit the tier two tips goal on either stream. Don't know, again, what gives with that. We did get a ginormous super chat on the late stream, which was very much appreciated, and again, thank you, Nathan, for that. Um... But in general, you would expect a new release day for a game like this, AAA hyped PS4 and PS5 exclusive at this point, would get more attention. It really didn't. And in addition, yesterday I played King of Fighters 15 all day. That's a game that definitely doesn't have a much, as much mainstream attention and hype as this game. Higher attendance all day and actually better support for King of Fighters. Um, one theory that I have which may very well be true. And many of you watching this video may have been doing this today and you're trying to, you're, you want to see how it did today because you weren't there, right? A lot of people actually contacted me behind the scenes over the course of this week or some people publicly on stream and said, Phil, just so you know, 
not going to be on your streams today. It's premiere day. I'm going to be playing the game by myself off, you know, off of off the internet. I don't want to be spoiled, but I'm going to play it over the weekend and I'll come back to your streams on Sunday when I'll be way more ahead of you and then I'll watch you play. I think that was a lot of people's mentality today was stay away from Phil's stream today to avoid spoilers. Come back on Sunday when we're now been playing all day Friday, all day Saturday, and he didn't play Saturday, so we'll be way ahead of him when he starts playing again on Sunday and we'll be able to share our experiences with him and have a good time together and not be spoiled, right? And this guy's a pathological liar. So this does happen too with certain games like this that are that are hyped that people don't want to be spoiled on release day and therefore... Yeah, attendance end up, ends up being lower, and sometimes support is even lower. Uh, but then it picks up. I don't know what's going to happen with Horizon. Personally, I like it, and I think it's going to get better the more we play it. But I honestly don't know if it's going to just remain kind of a slow viewership, slow support kind of game. The first one was. I can definitively tell you guys the first Horizon was like that five years ago. I remember distinctly, that was the year I became a full-time streamer for the first time, and I was trying to find games that would work for the streams, and I was shocked that that one wasn't working, that people were outright telling me, man, it's boring, and I remember just, I was telling everyone, listen, I want to play it at length, but I need to balance it with other stuff because I'm basically not getting good good attendance and support on those streams. It's, it Already, the first day is like this, makes me feel like it may be the same moving forward, I'm not sure. <clears throat> now, if you watch all my videos on demand, okay, Please, if you're watching the Horizon playthrough now, and if you're liking it, oh, okay, I like I like this playthrough that Phil's doing, please give likes on the videos, and please leave comments, uh, comments on the videos. I have to ask for this outright. Here's why. <clears throat> Yesterday, the King of Fighters streams, giant attendance, great engagement on the streams. Videos on YouTube are actually doing quite poorly. They're slow for views and slow for likes and slow for comments. I don't know why. Because if there was so much engagement on the stream and people liked it, what is going on with the on-demand viewership for this particular playthrough? Other playthroughs hasn't been like that. Maybe it's just because it's a fighting game and maybe maybe the silent majority of viewers on YouTube just aren't that into fighting games. I don't know. Um, I'm curious what's going to happen with Horizon today. As I told you guys over the last month, a month and a half, getting people to like the streams, like the videos, and leave comments is going to give engagement on this channel that I need right now to build this channel. The new releases are the way to bring in the new viewers. So I need help from the silent majority right now to like the videos and leave comments because that's going to blow this channel up when it comes to search rankings and discoverability, okay? So please, guys, give me your feedback. What did you think about Horizon today? Is this something that should continue on as a daytime stream? Is it actually so boring you'd want to see it as a nighttime stream? Will people come out to support the future streams and future videos? Or is this a situation where it's just not interesting? Or was it the situation that everyone was playing it today, didn't want to be spoiled, but you'll come and start joining me as of Sunday? I need to hear your feedback. Leave comments. Let me know. What do you think? Okay? So, overall, I like Horizon. I can't actually wait for more, but I hope that more people will jump on this journey with me and it doesn't become another Horizon Zero Dawn situation, which I was very disappointed many years ago playing through that game and, and, and having a good time with it and people basically telling me, ah, oh, it's more fun to play it than watch and man, you shouldn't play it anymore. I really don't want that to happen with this game. It's gorgeous. It's fun. And I hope that you will join me for a chill journey starting on Sunday. All right? What I would say is this, guys. Okay? Please, tonight, if you're having a good time with me, support the stream. Whether that means giving the stream a like to give it more engagement so we can get more people on YouTube to notice my streams and content. Whether that means actually doing something like becoming a member of the channel or a super chat or a super sticker or a tip. All of that is appreciated considering the fact that it was actually slow earlier today. If some of you were maybe here for the first time and you were thinking of supporting the Horizon streams, by all means, yes, please do so tonight. I would definitely appreciate it to hopefully make up for the slower stream earlier today. I, it, it was very surprising to be playing a new release like this and having it that slow, okay? As opposed to yesterday, which was the complete opposite. I don't know. 